Okay, we're gonna do lesson 1-5, division as sharing. Okay, so division is an operation that tells how many equal groups, remember just like multiplication, division has to use equal groups as well, okay? So if you think of our four operations, okay? We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then this one we're learning today is division, okay? Addition makes things bigger, right? We, we add together, we add numbers together, like three plus four equals seven, right? We're, we're addition, we're putting things together. Multiplication, we are also putting things together, but that has to be equal groups, okay? This is not equal groups. It can be. You can do six plus six, but here we can do three groups of four and have it equal 12. But again, over here, our addition and our multiplication are getting bigger, okay? Multiplication and division are getting smaller, okay? So here, we're, we're just taking some away. So we might do, you know, 10 minus four, and that's gonna leave us with six, okay? Division, we are also starting with the biggest number, just like subtraction always has to start with the largest number in your, in your group, right? Division does too, it has to start, and you are taking away, but you're taking away in equal groups. Division has to be equal groups, just like your multiplication does, okay? So addition and multiplication kind of go together because both of them are getting bigger, but your multiplication has to be equal groups. Subtraction and division kind of go together because your answer is getting smaller, you're taking away, but with division, you must take away in equal groups. So if I take 10 and I divide it into two equal groups, I will have five in each group. If you think about this, so I have 10 and I'm gonna divide them into two equal groups, right? So I'm gonna put one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, right? I have, I have a total of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I divided my 10 into two equal groups and I have five in each group, okay? So that's what we're taking a look at here with division. Let's take a look at, at, the, at the worksheet. So we have 18 counters. They have been put into three equal groups. How many counters are in each group, okay? So we have a total of 18. All of these together are 18, right? If we, if we count all these, we would get 18. Okay, so we have a total of 18. They have been put into three equal groups. So we, can, we know it's either multiplication or division, right? Because we're talking about equal groups. How many are in each group? Okay, well, how many groups did we put them into? We have a total of 18. The counters have been put into one, two, three. Think of these as like shoe boxes. And we went, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We kept counting and, and dividing them up until all 18 were gone. Okay, so they were put into three different equal groups, like three different shoe boxes. And how many counters do we have in each group? I want you to count in each group. Count the number here, count the number there, count the number there. It should be the same and write that number there. Pause it and come back. Okay, you should have gotten six in each shoe box. Okay, if you counted, there were six in each shoe box. So therefore, if we have a total of 18 and we divide it into three equal groups, we will have six in each group, okay? All right, there are 24 medals to give four teams. Each team receives the same number of medals. How many medals does each team um, receive? Okay, so circle your numbers. You got a total of 24 medals. We're gonna give them to four teams. And we're gonna, what's, what's our question? Always find your question mark and then go backwards. What's our actual question? How many medals does each team receive? Okay, the key here is each team receives the same number of medals, so we know we have equal groups, okay? Bar diagram, biggest number always goes on top, right? We have 24 medals. 
These are our four teams, okay? We're gonna take 24 and we're basically gonna be like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna, we're just gonna divide them up. You get one, you get one, you get one, you get one. You get one, you get one, you get one, you get one. So let's do that, okay? We'll make like, like tally marks in here, okay? We'll do one, two, three, four. Get that so far? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. Hopefully you've learned uh, tally marks. If not, we'll do them a little bit this year too. Um, so we can see at a glance that we have, the, this is five plus one is six. Six, six, six. So how many medals did each team get? Six. Okay, so 24 divided into four equal teams means each team gets six, med six medals. Okay, Mrs. Schultz has 36 drumsticks to give to nine drummers. Each drummer will receive the same number of drumsticks. We have equal groups, okay? Find your question mark and underline that one. It's our question. How many drumsticks will each drummer receive? Okay, biggest number on top. There's a total of 36. They already wrote that for us. Here are our nine drummers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think we should make our tally marks underneath because these are already super, super full, okay? With the question mark there. So we're gonna we're just basically gonna divide up 36, okay? So you know what? Let's do this. Let's let's make nine circles down here. Each one of these circles is going to be, or you can make boxes. Each one of these is going to be a drummer. Just make your nine because this is too smushed, okay? Three, here's our fourth guy, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's our nine drummers. So pause it and get your nine drummers. Okay, so now I want you to take 36 and I want you to divide it evenly between these nine drummers. So just, I'm gonna have you pause it and do it by yourself, but I want you to basically, you're gonna count all the way to 36. You're gonna go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you get it? Okay, so pause it and get to all the way, divide your 36 evenly between your nine and tell me how many are in each box. Pause it and come back. eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, oops, wait, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, I lost count, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So how many drumsticks did each drummer get? How many do you have in each box? It should be four, right? Each guy, each drummer gets four drumsticks. So let's see if we can write a division problem for that. I, mean, I guess we could stick the four in here. It's kind of hard to read with all those question marks in there. So can you write a division problem? Pause it and I want you to see if you can write a division problem for me, okay? Pause it and come back. Should be 36 divided by nine is equal to four. Okay, great job on division.